Ever heard of inventions that shook the balance of many firms and territories such that governments had to suppress them? History has not done justice to the accolades of men like Nikola Tesla, whose mastermind led to the invention of a thousand modern-day technologies. Not many people know that Tesla is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, inventors in human history. Unlike big inventor names like Thomas Edison and Benjamin Franklin, he had so many of his inventions that never saw the limelight. One of which is the wireless systems, which led to the Wi-Fi inventions. He basically invented the Wi-Fi we use today. Tesla's inventions were suppressed by the government of the day and the Top Gun firms that ruled from the shadows. Nikola Tesla was born on July 9, 1856, in Croatia, into a Serbian family. His father was an Orthodox priest, and his mother, though unschooled, was very intelligent. Growing up, Tesla showed a high level of imagination and creativity, as well as some touch of poetry. Being trained for a career in engineering, he started his engineering education at the Technical University at Graz in Austria, and also at the University of Prague. It was at Graz that Nikola Tesla first saw the Graham Dynamo, a machine that operated as a generator and at reversal behaves as an electric motor. It was after this experience that he got the idea of using alternating currents to his advantage. At Budapest, he imagined the principle of a rotating magnetic field and also designed plans for an induction motor that would become his first stop at effectively using the alternating current. Also in 1882, Tesla moved on to work for the Continental Edison Company in Paris. It became his usual practice at the company that after work, he would make several practices based on his imagination. Nikola Tesla was on an assignment in Strasbourg in 1883, where after work, he designed and constructed his first induction motor. After this, he sailed to the USA in 1884 and arrived in New York with only four cents in his pocket, a handful of poems, and several calculation sheets for a possible flying machine. In the USA, he first got employment with Thomas Edison, but due to the distinctions in their backgrounds and methods, it was evident that they would eventually be separated. Following their separation, George Westinghouse in May 1888, as the head of Westinghouse Electric Company in Pittsburgh, purchased the rights of the patent to Tesla's polyphase system of alternating current dynamos, transformers, and also motors. This huge transaction led to an alarming power tussle between the direct current systems approach at Edison's firm and the Tesla Westinghouse alternating current approach. However, Tesla Westinghouse won the tussle. Soon, Tesla established his laboratory where his wandering inventive mind would be given the quality freedom it needed to roam. He had experiments using shadow graphs which were similar to those used by the inventor Wilhelm Röntgen when he found the X-rays in 1895. His numerous experiments and research included the work on a carbon button lamp, the power of resonance in electricity, and different types of lighting. To decline the fears people had for alternating currents, Tesla had to give exhibitions in his laboratory where he allowed electricity to flow through his body and light up the lamps. This became a basis for his invitations both home and abroad to lecture in institutions. Interestingly, the Tesla coil which he invented in 1891 is very much used today in television and the radio sets, and could also be found in many other electronic devices. That same year, Tesla got his U.S. citizenship. The Westinghouse Electric Company used Tesla's alternating current to light the world's Columbian Exposition, an event that occurred in Chicago in 1893. The success of this invention was a critical factor in why the firm won the contract in installing the first power machinery at Niagara Falls, and on it was inscribed Tesla's name and patent numbers. The same project at completion transmitted power to Buffalo in 1896. Following this feat, Tesla in 1898 made a declaration of another invention, a teleautomatic boat that is remotely controlled. When the skeptics hit him with their sentiments, he proved his claims before a large crowd in the Madison Square Garden. Such a historic feat! Nikola Tesla stayed in Colorado Springs in Colorado from May 1899 till early 1900. It was in Colorado that Tesla made what he cherished as his most important discovery, the terrestrial stationary waves. It was this discovery that made it simple for Tesla to prove that the Earth could be used as a necessary conductor and would resonate at a certain threshold of electrical frequency. With this discovery, he at one time lit up an arena with 200 lamps and no wires attached from a distance of 25 miles. He also birthed man-made lightning that produced flashes measuring up to 41 meters. 
One of the interesting conversations by Tesla which raised eyebrows with many scientists and was documented in some other scientific journals was when he received signals from another planet at a certain time. He returned to New York in 1900 and began the construction of a wireless world broadcasting tower on Long Island with $150,000 capital given to him by the American financier J.P. Morgan. Tesla would later claim that this loan was given to him by J.P. Morgan after he assigned Morgan 51% of his patent rights on telephony and telegraphy. He desired to provide enabled communication globally and to also furnish the facilities for the transmission of pictures, messages, weather warnings, and even stock reports. However, the project was abandoned due to financial distress, labor troubles, and also due to Morgan's withdrawal of support. This was heartbreaking for Tesla. It was his greatest defeat. However, he wasn't giving up even though most of his ideas remained only in his notebooks due to lack of funds. He shifted to turbines and other projects. These penned down ideas are still subjects of examination by many enthusiasts, perhaps in search of unexploited clues. In 1915, he was very much disappointed when there was an erroneous report that he and Edison were to share the Nobel Prize. However, in 1917, he received the Edison Medal, which was the highest honor that the American Institute of Electrical Engineers could give to anyone. Maybe unexpected of him, but Tesla was not a man of many friends. He only had a few close friends. Among them are writers like Mark Twain, Francis Marion Crawford, and Robert Underwood Johnson. When it came to financial matters, he was very much unrealistic. However, he had the ability by intuition to sense hidden scientific secrets and engage his inventive skill to prove whatever hypothesis he made. Tesla was an asset to reporters who were after copies that would drive folks to their base, but also he was a problem to editors who were not certain about the assurance of his futuristic conversations or if his words should be regarded. His many assertions and speculations were met with unending criticism especially his speculations about communication with other planets, his positions that he could cut the Earth into two places, and his boasts of having invented a powerful ray known as the Death Ray which is capable of destroying 10,000 airplanes at a distance of 400 kilometers. Other inventions of Tesla that never saw the daylight include the Thought Camera. With this, he believed human thoughts could be captured. The earthquake machine, which was a mechanical oscillator designed to vibrate up and down at high speeds to generate electricity. Wireless energy, a project known as the Wardenclyffe Tower, which was suppressed by J.P. Morgan's funding stoppage. Morgan saw Tesla's project as a force against his monopoly. And artificial tidal waves, which was supposed to be used in battles to create tough sea current to attack enemies on the sea. After the failure of the wireless energy project, Tesla delved into the electronic-powered supersonic airships, a project geared at powering airplanes at very distant heights by the use of electric plants on the ground. The death beam was the last of inventions that did not make it to daylight. While the press described it as a death beam, Tesla named it the peace beam, since the purpose of the beam is to foil enemy attacks at 250 miles away from the territory. Yes, the beam had the capacity to eliminate over 10,000 soldiers at a go by accelerating mercury particles at a speed of 48 times the speed of sound. The fear of such possibilities made the government suppress the invention and many others. Nikola Tesla being alone and in debt on floor 33 of the Hotel New Yorker, a small hotel room he had been living in for decades till he clocked 86. He died on January 7, 1943. His death was caused by a medical condition known as coronary thrombosis, which is prolonged and continuous death of the heart muscles leading to excruciating pain in the mid-region of the chest. Following his death, the custodian of the alien property impounded his properties, his trunks which housed his papers, diplomas, and other honorary awards. Other items found in the trunks are his letters and his notes from the laboratory. All of these impounded materials were later inherited by his nephew, Kasa Kasanovich, but eventually retrieved and kept at the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. During his funeral, multitudes filed into the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in New York City, and a deluge of messages acknowledged that truly a great genius was lost. Among the crowd were three Nobel Prize recipients who defined Nikola Tesla in their tributes as one of the outstanding intellects of the world who paved the road for many technological developments in contemporary times.
While the story of Nikola Tesla was laced with disappointments, lack, and unending struggles, it is safe to say that Tesla was a genius who never allowed anyone to deter him. And neither did he allow his disappointments to put a stop to his journey. In the list of men who revolutionized the world, especially electrical engineering and technological advancements, missing out on Nikola Tesla renders the list irrelevant. And although the government tried to downplay his name and invention, he was a genius, and everyone around him attested to that fact.